Girl. And today, we're going to be talking about Braille. So, what is Braille? Braille is a code that visually impaired people used to read and write. So, I'm going to tell you some of the basics about Braille. This is a Braille style. A Braille style consists of six dots. And um, you can use these six dots in a combination with other dots from the full cell to make any letter in the Braille alphabet from A to Z. So now I'm going to tell you some of the um, some of the basics about writing Braille. This is my Perkins Braille Writer, and um, as you can see, it has papers in it. It um, this, these are the sixteen. Um, six keys, space bar, down, and back, and um, the six keys are organized this way, dot one, dot two, dot three, dot four, dot five, and dot six. So, let's say you want to make an A. A is dot one, so you put down dot one in space. If you want to do B, it would be dot one and dot two in space. Let's pick a harder one now. Let's do O. O is one, three, and five. Those are some of the basics about writing Braille. Now I'm going to show you some of the basics of reading Braille. This is a Braille sheet of paper with letters on it from the alphabet. And um, what you do with it is you put it down on a hard surface and then gently glide across like so to pick up all the letters. Now, there are two types of braille, grade one braille and grade two braille. So grade one braille is where you have to type everything out. It's pretty much like prints, but it is um, in dots. So let's say you wanted to type more, you would do M O R E. And it would take a little longer than in grade two. In grade two though, you have contractions. Contractions make a word shorter. So let's say you want to do the word knowledge. Instead of typing that whole thing out, all you would have to do is do a K. And then that would be knowledge. Let's pick another one. Almost. A R E. That is almost. There is over 180 contractions, and not every word has a contraction. So now I'm going to tell you about the man who invented Braille. His name was Louis Braille, and he was born in the 1800s. And um, and in France. And so he was not originally born blind. At the age of three, he was playing in his father's workshop. His father worked with leather, so he used it all. Uh, a WL, a sharp, pointy object that was used to poke holes in leather. So. Um, Louis was playing with that object and poked his eye with it. And, um, and at first it didn't seem severe. But then, um, then as time went on, it got infected. And soon the other eye got infected. Then, at the age of five, he lost both eyes. But in school, when he went to school, he was a very bright child and tried his best. So at the age of 10, he got a scholarship to a school for the blind. Could you do that? And so um, so there was books there, a few but dozen in the library. And they looked something like this. They were pretty much print, but um, they were raised. And what you would do is you would have to trace all the way around them. There would be two sentences on the page, this is only one. Could you imagine a whole book made out of this? That's big. So it would be, take so long that by the time you're done with one page, you would forget that one's at the beginning. And if you, and if you didn't, you would forget soon. So Louis knew, hmm, there had to be a better way. So, um, one of his friends in school told him about a man called Charles Barbier. And Charles Barbier was making night writing. Night writing was something that the army used to talk to each other or communicate in the dark because they couldn't light a match or t 
Tali Dent or something, because the enemy would hear them or see them and attack. So they use this night running to get away with that. So, um, Charles Barbier invited Louis and then showed him how it worked and then gave him a sample. Louis took out all the dashes because it consisted of dashes and dots, and he only he wanted to, it to be different. So he took out all the dashes and left in some of the dots and made the whole entire braille code by the age of only 15. That's amazing. Um, some fun facts about Louis is after he finished school, he went back to teach there. He died at an early age of 43. And the most fun fact I could find, and I know of, is that in 1992, Louis Braille was realized as one of the 100 top inventors of all time. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video, and please like and subscribe below. Comment your, um, comment your questions to us down below. Bye!